Hello everyone, this is Daniel again, and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to export a movie from iMovie to iDVD. So in iMovie I have my project here, and all I need to do at this point is go to Share, Export, Movie, and choose Large. There's no reason not to do Large, and I'm just going to throw the file on the desktop, and DVD, Demo. I already had one on here, so it's going to have, re have me replace it. That's fine. And it's going to export out. Mine probably went a lot quicker than yours will. It's a really small video file, but it's the same process. So once you export out a movie from iMovie, you can quit iMovie. And now let's go ahead and open up iDVD. You have a couple of different options when you create a DVD with iDVD. I'm just going to create a new project and call it something. I'm just going to keep the same naming convention here, ID, DVD demo. And I'll throw it also on my desktop. Normally, again, you would have a folder where you'd be storing all your project files, and that's where you should be putting this. But for my purpose, this will work fine. And I'm going to hit create. And it's going to launch iDVD. OK. So they have a nice little intro here for you. So if you wanted to have a menu, you could just drag your folder of, uh, sorry, not your folder, folder, your file that you made, your video file, onto the DVD demo uh, template here. You can also throw the file on the main menu on the drop zone as you can see it has my video now playing in the menu. And if you wanted to put a title here you could name it whatever you want. DVD demo and this would be clip number one, whatever, you can name it whatever you want. And from here, if you wanted to, you could hit play and it will show you exactly what it will look like when you put it into a DVD player. And I see I spelt it DMO instead of demo. That's fine. That's where you find mistakes. And if I hit clip number one, it'll transition into my movie. But the fact of the matter is I don't even want to use a menu. I just want a DVD that is going to be put into a computer and play really quickly. If you want that, what you want to do is do file one step DVD from movie. And from here I'm going to navigate to the desktop and hit DVD demo. This is the same movie file and put import. It's asking me, do you want to save changes to this project? I already created a menu and had a whole all laid out for this way of making a DVD, but I really don't want to even do that. Uh, I don't want to save these changes. I just want to make a one-step DVD. So I am just chose which file to use for the DVD, and it's asking me to insert the disk. Once you insert the disk, it will just take a moment for the DVD ROM to recognize the disk. Once it's ready, it will start creating your one step DVD. It will need to encode your video first and then it will burn it. So the first step is usually takes a little bit longer. And of course, again, mine was really short, so it won't take as long. But that's all you really need to do to create a one step DVD and then also a uh, themed DVD with a menu and you can play around with the menus and whatnot there's obviously more to it but this will get you hopefully up and running pretty quickly and one thing I do want to mention the DVDs that you use DVD-Rs or what some people call minus Rs are preferable DVD plus Rs also work I would try to stick away from the DVD uh, rewritables and those are the DVD plus RWs or dash RWs, they tend to be a little bit less compatible with a lot of DVD players. So um, 
yeah, hopefully this tutorial will get you up and running in terms of getting a DVD made. If you have any questions, as always, you can grab me in my office or send me an email at dfergus at unr.edu. Thank you.